Want to know my hack for making the creamiest mac and cheese? Stay tuned. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper. I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make. I believe if you can read, you can cook. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how easy it is to make the creamiest and cheesiest homemade mac and cheese. Make sure to stay tuned to the end to learn my favorite tricks for making this classic even better. And be sure to grab the full printable recipe in the video description below. So the first thing we need to do for our mac and cheese is we've got to get the macaroni cooking. So behind me, I have a whole box, one pound of elbow macaroni cooking away. So we're gonna get that ready while we work on the sauce. So to the skillet, I'm going to add, please don't burn. I'm adding an entire stick of butter. I told you this was a creamy mac and cheese. We're gonna get that melted down. Our butter is melted nicely. So to this, we are going to add some flour. So I have equal amount of flour that I have butter. So a half cup of flour in here, and this is going to start our roux. So this is what brings the sauce together. So we're going to whisk this in until we cook the rawness out of the butter and we have a nice paste form. Okay, so I'm just whisking this until there's no lumps and it's nice and smooth. This is looking good. And I'm going to season this. So if you're using unsalted butter, you'll use a little more seasoning because you want to add the salt. But if it's salted butter, you can hold back on the salt. I love my house seasoning blend. It just adds a little something extra to everything I cook. Okay, this looks great. So now we're going to turn that heat way down. In fact, I'm gonna go off because pan is very hot. And we're going to stir in our milk. We're gonna whisk and pour. I'm just going nice and slow and working those lumps out as I go. Nobody wants a lumpy mac and cheese. And we're gonna bring this mixture up to a simmer. And as it simmers, our sauce is going to thicken. So I'm just going around the edge, working out any of those lumps of flour that might be sticking to the edge of the pan. Get that all worked in. And like I said, as it simmers, it will start to thicken up. Don't worry about that. Okay, I see some bubbles starting here and you'll notice as we stir it, the roux has gotten nice and thick and you know you're about ready when if you put your spoon in, you run your finger down the side, if that stripe stays, you're ready. So we are ready. I'm going to turn this heat off I'm actually going to take it completely off the heat because we don't want our pan to be too, too hot. Definitely not screaming hot when we add the cheese. That will cause our cheese sauce to break. Okay, so our white sauce is looking good. We're going to add our cheese now. So here I have, I told you I had the cheddar cheese already grated and the Gruyere. I'm just gonna put them together and get them mixed up so that they're kind of combined a little bit. You guys know me, every single time, I pick the wrong size bowl. <laughs> so I'll probably have a mess going on here. So I'm gonna put about half of the Gruyere in, along with about half of the cheddar. Doesn't have to be equal measurements, but we're gonna use this rest in a little bit. All right, we'll get that stirred in. Oh, this is looking good. Oh, look at that. I can see, you can see the strings of cheese from the Gruyere. Oh, this is looking so good. I mean, there's nothing more decadent than a nice pan of cheese sauce. Okay, so I'm just going to finish stirring this in. Look at that. Oh, that looks so delicious. You guys, I wanna like just stick my whole face right in here. And that's what you get from the combination of cheeses with the cheddar and the Gruyere. You get that oh, nice, cheesy, mmm, perfect. All right, I'm moving this aside. Right over here. 
And I'm gonna grab my 13 by nine baking dish and we are going to get this ready to pop in the oven. Okay, so I have just a glass 13 by nine dish. I'm gonna give it a good coating of nonstick spray. There we go. Now to this, I'm going to add my cooked macaroni. So I'm gonna grab that off the stovetop and transfer it into our baking dish. All right, so we have our hot macaroni here. Now we're going to transfer all of this cheese sauce right on top. I mean, really, yum. Get it all out. We don't wanna waste any. And give everything a good stir. I mean, you can just hear how creamy that sounds. I mean, nobody likes dry mac and cheese. All right, you wanna stir it really well. You don't want any of the pasta underneath to be uncoated in the cheesy deliciousness. All right, smooth that out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we still have more cheese. So we're going to right on top the rest of our cheese. There we go. I don't know if I can wait <laughs> for this to bake. I kind of just want to get a spoon and go in there. But I'll be patient. I will exercise some patience. Because we've got to pop this into a 325 degree oven for a few minutes and we're gonna let everything work its magic and then we're digging in. All right, our mac and cheese is out and just look at how creamy and cheesy this is. It really doesn't get much better than this. But before we dig in, not only is it screaming hot, let me share some tips for making the best mac and cheese. First, it is super important that you grate your own cheese. Don't skimp and use the pre-shredded stuff. It won't be as creamy or melty. Next, make sure you remove the cream sauce from the heat before adding the cheese because too much heat will cause your cheese sauce to break and separate. If you keep these tips in mind when making mac and cheese, I promise it will come out perfect. Now, I can't wait a second longer to dig into this deliciousness. So I am going in. I'm gonna go right here for this corner. Oof. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I told you this was creamy mac and cheese. Look, I just can't stop scooping it in. Okay, that's enough. Look at that. That's the Gruyere that's got that nice stringiness to it. Mm. Mm. Just give me a minute. I need to be here alone with my mac and cheese. What a love affair. This baked mac and cheese is definitely Definitely a keeper. I think you'll love it. There are so many great mac and cheese recipes out there. I have mac and cheese with ham recipe that you don't wanna miss. You can check it out here. I'll see you there.